There's been so much bad news in the world this year. And, you know, we can't control what's happening to us, but we could control deciding to continue to release our music the way that we wanted to. He screamed so loud, my boyfriend ran into the room and he's like, what's happening? And I was like, Evanescence has a new album! We just wanted it for ourselves and we wanted it for our fans. So we just said, screw it, we're doing it anyway. Evanescence is back. The Grammy winning artists are putting out new music this year, some 17 years after their monster hit, Bring Me to Life. We caught up with the lead singer of Evanescence, Amy Lee, to discuss the band's new music and how they finished it while in quarantine. This has been a hard time and I'm really grateful to have an art project that I care about to do. It just felt like the right thing to do for our fans. After waiting for um, so many years for a new full album and we're so excited about it. I'm really interested to see how the TikTok e-boys and e-girls will react to their music. Who knows, maybe there'll be a Bring Me to Life challenge and you guys don't get that joke because you are not 30. Her five-year-old Jack has a lot of music opinions. Jack is really, really into uh, science. Anything with like robotic sounding vocals is what he really likes. <laughs> the music that he enjoys listening to, he calls robot music, daft punk, craft work. Whenever I have kids, I'm gonna let them listen to whatever's popular, you know, in the year 2035, but I'm also gonna be like, check out this Kanye West, it's good. She has some great advice for other artists. You can do whatever you want. You don't have to be one thing. You don't have to listen to one type of music. Everybody's personality, I think, has a lot of different sides. You're not always in the same mood. You've gotta follow your heart. You've gotta follow what you believe about your art and go with that gut thing that makes you passionate about what you're doing. If you let somebody else tell you who to be or what to look like or sound like, you're not gonna like yourself. Um, and you're the one who has to live with it. I've always really related because she feels so authentic. Like you're like, she's feeling all these feelings. This is her and we're going through this together. We deserve a new system because the old one was created to oppress us. That's the reality. And yes, it starts with justice. And yes, we can have peace. But only when it's for everyone. Kiki Palmer has been waiting for a revolution for her whole life. The 26 year old has been joining Black Lives Matter protests and recently went viral for confronting members of the National Guard, urging them to join protesters. It's great to see celebrities doing the work, especially like Kiki Palmer. She's at the protest live in person. And I think that means so much more than just speaking to a camera and telling people that you care. We caught up with Kiki to find out what else she's been doing to stay busy during quarantine. Honestly, my music has been keeping me sane, mainly because that's what I've been like working on and I've been putting all of my uh, you know, feelings and what I want to express into that. And so it's been like the theme song of my time. Kiki says a lot of her viral videos aren't pre-planned and she knows she's memeable. When I think about my videos, whether it's a sketch, whether it's a TikTok dance or anything that I'm putting out, I, I literally do it spontaneously. I think I just try to always go from, literally from a place of how I feel and you know, People like it cool, and if they don't, cool too. Honestly, being a meme is like a total compliment. So I like give like so much love to my generation for like making me a meme. I feel like somebody painted a portrait of me. She also spilled a few details about a True Jackson VP reboot. Yes. Okay, what I can say is True Jackson VP, her story ain't over yet. So get into it soon. Kiki also told us what it's like to be nominated for a daytime Emmy. I have never been nominated for an Emmy before. I'm so happy for, you know, I don't even know what to say. Like We did this show again from a place of just vibing with each other and having fun and wanting to put something fun out there and different, you know? Congratulations, Kiki Palmer, on your Emmy nomination. If I was nominated for an Emmy, it would be most likely to succeed. She is so dope. She was my favorite role in Hustlers. She's so real, she's so fun. She looks good all the time. One time she put her hand on my shoulder. We've been connected ever since. I lock my door. Forget it. You can't come in. I need 10 minutes or 20 minutes or 30 minutes by myself. Maybe it's to meditate, maybe it's to knit, maybe it's to file my nails. Who cares, it's none of your beeswax. If Kristen had to be quarantined with any cast, who would it be? I'm gonna say Good Place. We had so much fun on that show and because we had to end it, it, there's still a big sort of gaping fresh hole in my heart for all of those people. And we still definitely are on a, a text chain and keep up all the time. I would love to be quarantined with the Lord of the Rings cast, not 
as them as the actors as the characters themselves. Do you need to socially distance from your own family? She's got some tips. So I have uh, locked my bedroom door and when my husband also needs to be in the bedroom, I then will lock the bathroom door and I will just have the bathroom space to myself. And I say at this moment in time, during this global pandemic, this is my area. Here's a tip if you want to get away from your family, order yourself a tent online Build it in the backyard and you can sleep there or your parents can sleep there. You guys can swap. To keep my sanity in quarantine, I have done a lot of dancing. I'll just break out at any time with a dance. You never know when it's going to happen. I like to sometimes lay in my bed and then stare at the ceiling. Just kind of kind of wondering where everything went wrong uh, with, the, with the virus and also with several of my past relationships. And who is Kristen group chatting with? Basically every celebrity in Hollywood. Well, I'm sort of permanently on a group chat with all my Frozen family. We stay very connected. I've been talking to Josh Gad a lot. And yeah, we've been talking to Melissa McCarthy and Ben Falcone are good friends. We've been staying in touch with them. She also has a new book out called The World Needs More Purple People, which her kids even helped with. We wanted to write a kind of a road map for kids of some features that bring people together. And we wanted to create like five pillars to be a purple person that no one can argue with are great features to have. Like you laugh a lot. No one wants people to laugh less. You're a really hard worker. Um, you ask great questions. And it really came out of this desire to give our kids a more complete narrative. 